it is your girl Candy and I'm here with another makeup tutorial to blow your mind. If you do not know me yet, I'm obsessed with makeup, beauty, fitness, vlogging, all these sort of things. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell's notification so you can get a notification pop up on your phone every time I upload a video like this. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the naked reloaded palette from urban k you guys have been loving my five looks with one palette so this is another video showing you five different looks that you can actually create using the reloaded palette i kept the looks quite simple and easy but remember i also have an eyeshadow lesson on my youtube channel on another video which i'll link up here for you guys and down below in the description so you can watch it step by step to learn how to do your eyeshadow properly hold up i quickly want to tell you guys about skillshare if you haven't heard of it it's actually pretty awesome. So Skillshare is an online learning community with over a thousand classes. You can literally learn anything from business and entrepreneurship to film and photography, to graphic design, to beauty, lifestyle, health, anything you can think of, you can find it on Skillshare. I'm actually busy with a class right now that's about standing out and making money on YouTube. And you can of course join as well. So because Skillshare sponsored this video, they also provided me with a link down in the description bar where you can sign up with a two month free membership. I'm actually impressed at how affordable it is because if you sign up for the annual subscription, you pay less than $10 per month, which is crazy since you have like over a thousand classes to take so make sure you sign up and without further ado let's jump into look number one so each look i'm gonna start off with the eden primer potion from urban decay this is an eyeshadow base that's gonna help your eyeshadow really stay put blend well and last the whole day so starting off with boundaries on a big fluffy blending brush i'm gonna use this color as my transition color and blend it into the crease i'm also going to pick it up with a pencil brush and apply that to the lower lash line then with a pencil brush and end game i'm gonna pat that on the outer part of my lid space and also add that to the lower lash line you can keep skip this step if you don't want it to be too dramatic but you can see it beautifully blends in with the transition shade and then with the small blending brush just make sure you blend out the harsh edges then i'm gonna use brow to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone and then i'm actually gonna pick up dream weaver and wet the product before patting it onto the lid make sure also you take a blending brush afterwards and just blend in the color so it like smokes nicely into your transition shade for mascara, I'm going to be using Happy Go Lash from The Body Shop and then I'm going to apply lashes and the lashes I'm using is from a Val, it's called Lash in the City and that really completes the first look. I love this because it's really like smoky but it's not actually that dark and I think you can wear it uh, for a day or a nighttime event. With look number two, I'm going to pick up Retro with a blending brush, apply that to my crease as my transition and blend it out nicely. I'm also going to apply some of that to my lower lash line using a pencil brush and then obviously just make sure that it's nice and blended before moving on to the next step. Angel Fire will be used to highlight the inner corner and then I'm going to take a flat brush and just pat on a little bit of eyeshadow base. You can see it's like very little just to create a tacky base for Barely Baked which is then really going to make that lovely gold color come out and pop as we pat it on. Obviously this look is really really beautiful. I love it because it's quite natural and wearable and super easy to create but it's got like that pop of color. Look number three, we are going to start with our transition using Bucked and I'm basically blending this into the crease and then I'm also going to take some of Bucked and with my pencil brush add it to the lower lash line so you can see every single step kind of starts with the same transition sort of routine but what I am going to do is basically blend that out and really like you can see I'm taking it past my brow to really bring some of that color out before moving on to the next step. Brow is going to be used to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone and then I'm going to pick up um, Blur. Blur is going to go on the lid space, basically filling in the space where we haven't applied any eyeshadow yet. And then with end game and a pencil brush, I'm 
kind of creating like a bit of a smoked liner with it building it into that c shape on the outer v part of the eye so you can see that it goes diagonally down to the lash line and then goes into the crease a little bit and then i'm also taking some of that and winging it out so this part can be a bit tricky but just take your time doing this step and keep um using your little pencil brush you like a blending brush going back and forth and the look will soon come together once I'm done with that, I'm also going to take a bit of end game and drag it onto the lower lash line and apply my mascara and lashes. And this look is complete. This look can be a bit tricky, but it is still easy and you kind of just blending shadows so you don't have to be too perfect with the wing. I actually really like this. For look number four, after your eyeshadow base, I'm going to pick up Burn with a small sort of blending brush and I'm just really focusing that into the crease area. After I've blended that, I'm going to pick up Boundaries just to kind of give it a bit of warmth and blend it upwards to get that nice soft look. I'm going to spritz, distilled and pat it onto the lid space and then use Angel Fire and also spritz that with some setting spray to highlight the inner corner. A nice little trick I like to do is just to clean up the eyeshadow at the edge of the eye using whatever's left on my brush after applying the eyeshadow base. For this look, I don't want to wear anything underneath. You can, but that really completes this look. So you can apply your mascara and lashes and there you have it, a nice bronzy, glowy sort of makeup look. Okay, so I know I said I'll keep things easy, but I thought let me just maybe add a cut crease for those who would like to do this. Obviously, you can leave the cut crease part and still use the colors in the same area. So let's get started. With a pencil brush, I'm going to pick up Bucked and I'm just basically really focusing that into the crease area and adding a bit more but still staying within that crease area before moving on to the next color. So don't worry too much about blending that out. Once you're done applying, you want to use a very small blending brush and then start blending it out just to soften the look but you can see it still looks quite focused within the crease area. I'm then picking up Distilled and I'm with a small pencil brush just going to apply that to the lower lash line. So the secret to a cut crease is really picking up a lot of concealer with a flat brush that's got like a nice rounded tip and then kind of gently pat and pull to create the perfect crease line just above where your natural crease is. Um, I'm using a lot of concealer because it really helps me map out that cut crease and then I'm actually going to pick up a q-tip or a earbud and just wipe off the excess concealer because too much concealer can also make your eyeshadow crease so be careful not to wipe um, away that guideline that you made for yourself but it's just going to take that excess product off and then I'm going to go back in with my Eden primer potion from Urban Decay and use very little of it just to kind of go over what I did but because you're using a small amount of product it's just creating the perfect layer for your next step okay starting to set that on the inner corner i'm going to use angel fire and then i'm going to pick up retro and pat a little bit of that onto the lid i'm then going to pick up bribe and add it closer towards the crease area and then layer a little bit of um uh, retro on top of that again to give it like a nice ombre -y coral effect then i'm going to pick up some of end game with a pencil brush and just kind of create like this triangle going towards my lash line blend it into the coral um, to create like that half smoked out cut crease look using this silvery white pearl liner from palladio i'm just basically going to trace just underneath my crease just to add like a little bit of a distinct line and then after i've done this i'm gonna add these new beauty lashes they called bay breeze really love them and this is really your last look absolutely love it i know it's a bit more um trickier than the others but i hope that you try it at least so there you have it five looks using the naked reloaded palette from urban k i hope you guys really liked it as you can see most of the looks look pretty similar because i mean it is pretty much a neutral sort of palette and i know the fifth look was 
not as easy but i wanted to add a bit of a cut crease for those who are comfortable doing a cut crease and if you maybe want to try it and also you'll see that i was in a different outfit because my eyes are like so sore <laughs> taking off putting on taking off with every time i blend i can just feel the pain so i i decided to film my fifth look tomorrow which is the next day which now i'm filming extra but you you know what i'm saying remember also to check out the link in the description down below for your free two month membership with skillshare i just want to thank you guys so much for your support and love on these videos please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know what other palette you want me to do next until next time stay sweet i'll talk to you soon bye